aide at a Wichita Falls home lands two behind bars and takes more than 5,500 potentially lethal pills containing fentanyl off the streets. 32-year-old Cameron Schlegel and 31-year-old Jillian Dunahoo were booked into jail and charged with manufacture or delivery of a controlled substance, 400 grams or more. Investigators executed a search warrant on a home in the 3600 block of York yesterday afternoon at around 1. There, they said that they located a large amount of blue pills disguised as Percocet that later tested positive for fentanyl. The total weight of the pills was around 564 grams. Officials with the Drug Enforcement Division say around 5,600 pills were seized, one of the biggest busts ever made in the county. This comes less than three months after the first fentanyl-related murder conviction in the state happened right here in Wichita County, another major victory for law enforcement in the fight against the fatal drug. Josh Hoggard spoke with officials today about the county's ongoing fentanyl battle and he's joining us now Josh well guys if you think back to the summer of 2022 it seemed like we were hearing about a fentanyl related death every other day then our local law enforcement agencies came together and pledged to fight back and keep the deadly drug off our doorsteps and now it's really starting to feel like the tide is truly turning a joint effort between the Wichita Falls Police Department and the DA's Drug Enforcement Division led to one of the largest fentanyl busts ever made in Wichita County. It's in the top five for sure. And it all started with a smaller bust made in early January. That led to gaining the information that these individuals had gone to Arizona to bring more fentanyl back to, to Wichita Falls. The operation also led to the discovery of guns, marijuana, and mushrooms, all of which are now off our local streets. It's not that those things are not important, but the focus to me is the 6,200 fentanyl tablets. Between those two busts, over 6,000 potentially lethal pills were seized before they could be distributed in our community. It's just mind-blowing the, the sheer number of people that, that would have been put at risk because of this. The enhanced focus on fentanyl is having an effect. We said that we were serious about prosecution, aggressive law enforcement, putting the cases together, and we have seen that happen. WFPD Sergeant Charlie Iper says there's a reason the tide seems to be turning in this fight. It's not just people being put in jail, they make bond and nothing really happens. We're taking the process all the way to the end, to convictions. Just like they did with Jacinto Jimenez back in September, the first fentanyl-related murder conviction in the state. We're vigilant in our fight about this poison being brought into our community. That sort of depraved indifference, um, we're going to go after hard. Wichita County DA John Gillespie says community members also have a crucial role in that fight. Have the conversations with your kids. One pill can kill. And although the fight isn't going anywhere, can we keep it out of the county altogether? No. Can we make a difference? Is this a, a, an important part of an overall approach to it? Absolutely. One thing is clear. Ground continues to be gained in Wichita County's fight against fentanyl. The word is getting out on the street. Do not bring this stuff to Wichita County, to Wichita Falls. We will catch you, we will prosecute you, and you will rot in, in prison. Now, official told me this afternoon there's another way that community members can join the fight against fentanyl. The Drug Enforcement Division has set up a confidential tip line directly to investigators for any information that you may have about fentanyl being used or sold in your area, as well as any other drug tips that you may have. That email address is right there on your screen. And you can also find it to submit any tips that you may have inside the story on TexomasHomepage.com. Mm -hmm. Now, this is huge mm -hmm. for sure. Okay, Josh, thanks. To you, uh, thank you very much.